Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com and I could really use a new intro. Today we're going to continue our WordPress theme. It has been a while. So today I had the idea that we would do this tutorial the same way we did the one with the content slider. I packaged all the code together, all the resources, and uploaded it to AwfulMedia.com where you could download it and then follow along in the video where I explain what everything does and show you how to put it together. But as I was writing up the code to a package together to make that happen, I realized there's a lot of stuff we have to tinker with and play around with and change and just get right. And that's not something I, I want to just do and show you. I want to actually show you the process of doing it. So we're going to do this like the normal style tutorial where I just go through and uh, talk about stuff while I'm typing it. So what we're actually going to do in this video is uh, we're going to put just a blank container over here. Maybe it's going to be like an in-house advertising kind of thing, like an internal ad for like a game on the website or something like that. I don't quite know yet. Could be anything that goes in this section. We'll just have to see. What do you want to see go there? I don't really know. Let me know. But down here we're going to have a list that's going to be like two by three, two by three of the newest games added. Now let me point something out. This is going to be a flash game website, which means that was a dumb, dumb, dumb idea for a responsive tutorial because the responsive bits of the website are not going to work well at all with a flash file, with a flash gamer anything that has a set width. So that was a stupid thing, but we're still going to go on with it. And we're just going to ignore the fact that the games don't resize. So if you're following along for that, <laughs> to make a flash game website, you might want to uh, do something else there with the responsive parts. But, oh uh, well, we're, we're already too far in to back out of that. So we're going to do that and we're going to be happy with it. So like I said, a two by three list of the latest games going to have a thumbnail image with a title, like a description or whatever it may be right there. So we're going to work on that. Keep in mind for this to work properly, we're going to have to create a custom post type. We'll do that probably next video and a custom post type. If you don't know what that is, you might want to look that up and uh, kind of get an idea of what we're going to be doing next time. But the, the gist of it, the, the brief summary of what that is, is instead of having just, like, when you go to the WordPress dashboard, and it says, let me just show you, because I can do that, because I'm looking at it. If you go to WordPress admin and we sign in, I don't remember, it's been so long, I don't remember the info. Oop. Was it my name? Was that it? Okay. And over here you have posts and media and links and stuff like that. Well, instead of just posts, we'll make one that says games. And that'll allow us to have custom types of data stored in. So if we go into this post right here, we have a title. Then we have like the body content. And then we have over here, we have tags and a thumbnail, things like that. And categories. What we want to do, though, is actually customize the, in the, the input areas for this. So we want this actually to be like the game embed code because we're going to be embedding games from flash portals and things like that so it would make this a game embed area so we wouldn't need a lot of the stuff we have make this the game title we want like a um, section so we could put in the author or the publisher whoever it may be we want a section for i don't know if it has a rating whatever it may be we want to make sure we have all that stuff what we have to do right now though is Go ahead and block this out for the ad or whatever it may be. Go in and bring in our list. Let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a section tag. The reason I'm going to use section here is because this is going to be a section of its own. If you're coming from HTML4 and HTML5, maybe like, well, that should be a div or whatever it may be. Well, that could, still could be a div. Divs can still be used. But this is going to be a significant section of the website, and I want it to have some semantic value. So we're going to give it a section. We're going to give it a class of new games or whatever it may be. 
And then we're going to use the skeleton styles. This one will be 11 columns. It's going to be in a row. The row is the top and bottom margin. I want to make sure that matches with our slider above it there. So now if we were to give this a question mark, you'll see the pop down right below here. Oh, we still got to do that. I just said let's do that and I jumped down here. But that's what we're doing down there. Above this, let's go ahead and do that other section. And this is, we'll just say this is an advertisement. If I can type. And we'll give this a class of internal X. Because if we have, if we say internal ad or internal advertisement, or even like internal 250 by 250, which is a common size for ads, then an ad blocker will say like, bam, that's an ad. And we're going to block it without even considering anything else. So just to make it a little more difficult for the people who steal from websites by blocking ads, we're going to uh, name it internal X. You can name it internal whatever. I just would not suggest naming it internal ad because that's kind of a giveaway. And then it's going to be, see, we're 11, so five columns, row. So we have the padding and margin refresh and there we go so we have an ad here eventually if we want to L really quickly let's go in and define a style for internal x so we can go to the style.css come right below our featured game and i'm going to say internal internal x give this a style of like background e3 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 and don't forget your little dot there to to uh, tell it it's actually a class. Let's give it a display of block. So it will render it as a block element. And give it a hat for now. A hat? <laughs> give it a hat. Okay, give it a height for now of 250 pixels, which is uh, the size of our featured slider, if I remember correctly. Yes. And that is a beautiful. And we may remove the height later so we can uh, just fit whatever in there we want to. But for now, add a height so it looks not terrible. Below this, we're going to start our new game section. It's called new games. Go into style.css, say new games. Keep forgetting. <laughs> I've not wrote in so long, it's crazy. Okay. So inside new games, control S, let's refresh, make sure everything's still there. Okay. Inside of this, we're going to actually go above this and say another new games here. But this is going to be H1. Why are we doing that like that? Well, let's give us a background of red for now. Inside of the index, I'm going to give this an H1 tag and say new games, maybe all caps, I don't really know, whatever looks good in the end. If we refresh, that's what we get. And that's close to what I want to go for, <laughs> not quite, but close.